From this week on, we're going to be looking at films of great directors and from a long list, I just randomly chose Manoj Nayat Shyamalan first. I love this young director's films, all of them in fact, The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, Signs and The Village. What a storyteller Shyamalan is and how he has you at the edge of your seat grappling with myriad emotions ranging from icy cold fear as in Signs and The Village and heart-wrenching love in The Sixth Sense and of course the sense of catharsis you undergo at the end of each of his films. I sat down to watch Lady in the Water with huge expectations and I also had a friend with me since I can't cope with the shivers that run down my spine when I watch a Shyamalan film. The feeling of disquiet is too intense for me to deal with alone. But Lady in the Water disappointed. The movie has its fair dose of symbolism, shamanism and mythic lore like all of his previous films but it fails to disturb you. It starts off nice and eerie and darkly funny but soon becomes vague and pointless. Cleveland Heap, played by the delightful Paul Giamatti, is the caretaker of a large apartment complex with multi-ethnic and each one more bizarre than the other residents. You kind of look like me, you can work out a little bit, right? Uh, I could give you a vein like that. I can make it look just like this, right? Most people say, hey, what's wrong with you, Reggie? Why are you only working out on one side of your body? I tell them it's like an experiment. I'm like a scientist. This morning, I measured my bicep. Four and a half inch difference from one side to the other. Soon there are some strange goings on in the apartment complex's common swimming pool and one night Heap meets the pool's mysterious visitor underwater, a naf or a sea nymph. I saw you! I saw you! Come out of that pool right now! Hey! Come on out now. It's, it's, it's not safe. Oh, come on out. This is not. This is not funny. Please stop. Story comes needing protection and with a story, but the rules of her other world prohibit her from telling it. Heap figures that the Korean lady in the building whose daughter he borrows books from might be able to help him learn and interpret the tale. Could you look up the word narf for me? It's an Eastern bedtime story, Mr. Heap. I do not remember it. My great grandmother used to tell it when she was alive. Bedtime story? What's the story? I do not remember. How about your mother? By now, Heap has become Story's guardian and has introduced her to a writer, played by Manoj Knight Shyamalan himself and Sarita Chaudhary, who plays his sister. Now, it's crucial that Story gets back to her watery home before mysterious wolf like beasts called Scrunts come and get her as she is vulnerable being out of her element quite literally. What happened? 
out. You got those scratches. Did the eagle come? Did something go wrong? Story? Story! Was it that dog again? Does story go back to where she came from? How does her visit change people's lives? How does it have a healing effect? And more particularly, how does it help heal Heap, who's dealing with his own personal demons? Shyamalan tries to weave all of this together, but it becomes one tangled mess. Maybe Shyamalan found both acting and directing all a bit too much, so lost track of the plot. But there is some really Did clever humor, myself? and this scene cracks me up. Do you wish to know your future? A boy in the Midwest of this land will grow up in a home where your book will be on the shelf and spoken of often. He will grow up with these ideas in his head. He will grow into a great orator. He will speak and his words will be heard throughout this land and throughout the world. This boy will become leader of this country and begin a movement of great change. He will speak of you and your words. Your book will be the seeds of many of his great thoughts. It will be the seeds of change. The cookbook? Good one, eh? Breeze Howard's makeup is excellent. Or did they keep her dunked in water for long periods of time? She looks blue and pale and speaks in hurt, scared whispers throughout the film. I trust you. I believe you are here to protect me. Becomes a bit trying after a while. Paul Giamatti excels as Heap. He always excels in every role he dons, actually. What a brilliant actor he is. Look at this scene. Ah. Oh. Well, it's some kind of a bug. It's very big. It's very hairy. It's a creature of the day. My other daughter says it's some kind of creature the devil made. Tell her it's not a creature. There's no such thing as creatures, all right? You, are, you might want to turn away. Bob Balaban, who plays a book and film critic living in the building, is quite priceless too. Check out this scene when he encounters a scrunt. Hello? Is the bathroom on this level working? A dog inside the building. Go! Oh. Shoo! Well, you're not a dog at all. Oh my God. This is like a moment from a horror movie. This is precisely the moment where the mutation or beast will attempt to kill an unlikable side character. But... In stories where there has been no prior cursing, nudity, killing, or death, such as in a family film, the unlikable character will narrowly escape his encounter and be referenced again later in the story, having learned valuable lessons. He may even be given a humorous moment to allow the audience to feel good about it. This is where I turn to run. You will leap for me. I will shut the door. And you will land a fraction of a second too late. Though Manoj Nayit Shyamalan is a wonderful storyteller, this story just doesn't hold water. Couldn't resist that pun. The plot becomes vague after the initial suspense and fear that he so effectively builds. In one word, 
disappointing. So don't bother really, you'd be better off going for a walk or just chilling out with a book for 90 minutes. Last week's question was answered right by Preeti Garg. Now, Mr. Piyush and Preeti Garg, brother and sister, always rush and email me the right answer to the questions I ask each week. I'm delighted to hear from regular viewers of The Big Pick, but please, guys, give others a chance, will you? This week's question is, name the film that Manoj Knight Shyamalan made in 1992 when he was a student at the New York University. Let me repeat the question. Name the film that Manoj Knight Shyamalan made in 1992 when he was a student at the New York University. The first one to write in will get a DVD of Lady in the Water. Look forward to hearing from you and see you all next week, same time. Ciao. Ja chuka hai, chen sara. Ja chuki hai, har khushi. Ro rahe hai, dekha tumne. Kar diya itna dukhi. Na jane tum kajao ge